Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a push notification in Android. So recently, I made an app using Python TV, and this is the app that I make. So when I press the app using my Android emulator called BlueStacks, okay, <clears throat> so there will be a button. Wait, I need to launch it. Wait, uh, okay. So this is a button, and when I press it, okay, as you can see, there's a push notification on the Android, right here. So this is the notification is the name of the app. Juan Aditya is my name. This is the title of the message, and this is the main message. Test notification Android. This is in Indonesia. It means Android test notification. Okay, so how to make it? <coughs> So first, we need to install a TV module and also a player module to make the push notification. Okay, so I close it. So I'm going to use my text editor called Atom. And then I go to the new file. And save this file into main.py. Okay, and save it. Okay, the first thing, we need to install these two module. So the first module is pip install kiwi. Okay, this is gonna take a while. Okay. <clears throat> okay, after we done installing this module, the second module is pip install player like this and then we press enter okay after we install that both module so on the main.py we're gonna write from kiwi.app import app like this the a is in, uh, is in capital and then from kiwi.uex.button import button the b is in capital and then we're gonna import the player module player okay now we're gonna make a class uh, the name of it is my app and then we're gonna use this uh, so we're gonna write app like this and then colon and below below of this we're gonna write a dev build cell colon and we're gonna return it return button text is equal to uh, for example like not if and then when we press the button on press it gonna return to self.notify now this self.notify is also a function so we're gonna write it a new function called dev notify self comma object like this and then colon Okay, below of this, we're gonna write player dot notification dot notify. Now for the title, I'm gonna write uh, uh, my app, for example, and then the message is test notification. Okay. After that, the same as the class, we're gonna write my app dot run. Okay, and then I need to save it and execute this file. <clears throat> okay, when I execute this file, as you can see, there is a button. And when I press it, 
So on the desktop, there's also a pop-up notification. If this notification did not appear, you can go to the right bottom corner. Uh, on the right bottom, this notification, you press it and then go to the manage notification. And this, get notification from apps and other senders must be on. Okay. Now we need to convert this uh, this file into an APK, into an Android app. So to convert it, I'm using a Google Colab. So I'm going to my web browser. Okay, and then I, I go to Google Colab. So I have a file, this is named Konversi Kipi ke APK. This is in Indonesia, it means uh, Conversion PY to APK file. Okay, so this is the Google Collab file. Uh, to convert it into PY, uh, convert the PY into APK file, it requires uh, this, all of this. For the step, I'm going to uh, I'm going to put it on my video description. So first, we're gonna pip install bulldozer and then see Python, and then all of this, and then this, 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 and this. Okay. Now before we start, we we make sure to connect it first. Okay. Wait. Uh, Okay, initializing, and then, okay, it's already connected, and then go to this file, okay, go to this file, and upload your file. Okay, my file is in here, name main.py, okay, this main.py, okay, open. Okay, now we gonna run each of this line. First, pip install bulldozer. Okay, and then second, pip install Cyton. Okay, if it's already done, and then we go to this, this line. Okay, it's gonna take a while. Okay, it's done. And then go to the bottom. Okay, we execute this line. And then go to the other line, to the next line. I think this is the fifth line. Okay, then go to the next line. Now go to the this bulldozer in it. And we gonna input Y and then press enter. Okay. File bulldozer.spec created. Ready to customize. Okay, I need to refresh this file. As you can see, there is a bulldozer.spec. So I double click it. So as you can see, I need to change the title of the application. For example, test a not notification. And then on my app, the package name uh, will be test underscore notify. And okay, where is the okay? Okay, sorry guys, I accidentally closed the recording app. Okay, so I found the the link of the Stack Overflow. 
I'm going to paste it. Okay. You will find this link in my video description. So there's, okay, this. Okay, at the bottom of the Stack Overflow, there is this this uh, this person that say that in your build desert.spec file change the requirement instead of using this we gonna use this okay so i'm gonna copy it and then i go to the google collab and add comma and then okay comma and then i paste it in here and then don't forget to save it, just press Ctrl S. And then we need to close this. And run the last line, okay? Buildazer P Android Debug. Don't forget to press Y. And it gonna take a while. The last time I... Uh, the last time I run it, it takes around 15 minutes. Okay, if you find things like this, we just need to press Y and then enter. Okay guys, now it's done. It takes around 17 minutes to convert it. So the file is in the folder bin. And this is our Android app. So we need to download it. Download. Okay, it's gonna take a while again. Okay, I have to save the file. Okay, so just save it. And then I need to run my Android emulator, the blue stack. Okay. And then I minimize it and go to here and I drag it into the blue stack. Okay, just copy it and okay, this is our new app test notification. When I press it, okay, as you can see. The text of this, the text of this button is notification. When I press it, now as you can see, on the top of it, there is the push notification. The title is my app, and the message is test notification. Okay, so this is the the name of the app, test notification. Okay, I forgot to put the O. Okay, to check it, I will install it on my Android phone. Okay guys, so I already installed my app on my Android phone. So we will try it. Okay. Now when I press this button. Okay. As you can see, there is this notification. So yeah, it works. it's done well that's all for today thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys thank you